Picture this. It's 2015. You're going to the North American International Championships. Um, and you're, you're playing your Seismitoad, right? Se Seismitoad is a really big dick. Deck them. Um, you know, it's Se Seismitoad garb, right? Totally original, 100%. Um, and you win, you win some matches, you lose some matches, you know, naturally, right? But you came to win. Um, you, you, you're on to the final match of the day, right? Day one, if you win it, you go to day two. If you lose it, yeah, you, you're sent packing. Um, so, you, you, you think, okay, I, uh, I, I'm sure I can win. What, what am I going up against? You hear Waylord EX. Okay, and I'm like, oh, Waylord. I, I think I heard that name around like a, a few times, you know, I think I overheard some conversations. I, I can only make, make out a few words of it. I heard Waylord EX, obviously. I heard kind of annoying. Um, I, I heard boring. I mean, it, if they called the match boring, well then, obviously it's going to be pretty easy, right? So you, so you go into the match, and they, they put down Waylord EX, and, the, and then you think, wow... They really weren't kidding. He's playing Waylord EX. Okay. So we pick up the card just to make sure, like, I didn't get any card um, effects wrong, right? This this is a, a really, really bad card, right? And you're like, yeah. Yep, I, I got that right. It, it is pretty bad. <laughs> um, and then you, you guys start playing. You get off the turn one, Quaking Punch, naturally. Um, so you go, and you Quaking Punch. They can't play any items. Good. Everything's going as planned. You have your Trubbish on the bench with a float stone. You have your Seismitoad in the active with a double colorless and a muscle band. Everything is going nice and smooth. And then they they draw their card, and they pass. You think, wow, they must be, like, dead drawing or something, man. They must be doing terribly. And then you draw your card, you Quaking Punch again. Um, and they just draw, and they say, pass. Okay, so you quaking punch again. Um, same thing, draw and pass. You quaking punch for the fourth time. You've gotten rid of 200 of their HP, next time you'll knock it out. And then you see a max potion. And like, wow, there goes five, or no, sorry, four turns of just, just quaking punch after quaking punch after quaking punch. Oh, sorry, I guess they couldn't play Max Potion. And AZ. Alright, they AZ the Waylord, promote another one. Wow, well, there's go there, well, there goes four turns, right? Um, so you go, Quaking Punch, Quaking Punch, Quaking Punch, Quaking Punch. Another AZ. Quaking Punch, Quaking Punch, Quaking Punch. And a Cassius. It, and, and then, in between there, you, you, you face a few Team Flare Grunts. And you face some enhanced hammers, and honestly, you're kind of you're kind of ticked off at this point. But you realize, wow, they're almost out of all their via seekers. They're out of their AZs and they're out of caches. They're done. Dowsing machine, um, and then you grab uh, AZ. Bam, grab it. And you're like, okay, I'm over this. I'm gonna I'm gonna use grenade hammer. I only play a few copies of water energy for special occasions. But I'm going to grenade hammer. It's going to kind of stink, but I'm going to grenade hammer to speed along the process. And then you see, you, you get a true taste of what all of their items are. You, you face Max Potion, Hard Charm, Enhanced Hammer, Trick Shovel, and you're just bombarded with... Just a bunch of disruptive cards. And you realize just what kind of deck am I playing against? And then all of a sudden, you find out that you're only at, like, two cards left. And they play Trick Shovels. And they play Flare Grunts and, ha and Enhanced Hammer. And you realize that your deck is gone. And that you just wasted around... Let's see here. Probably about... 47 turns of just draw, um, quaking punch, and pass. And you realize that your deck is gone, and theirs isn't. 
It must have been truly devastating to be that person. And then you guys go to your uh, second match, but you realize that the time is all gone, and they won. They move to day two, and you don't. Why? Because they played easily the worst deck to ever play. Now, thank you for taking that little um, uh, journey with me through the mind of someone, an average, the average person playing in the North American International Championships at that time. Um, wow, must have really sucked. Honestly, it, it must have been terrible. Sucks to be you, I guess. Haha. <laughs> um, but but seriously, uh, that that deck was absolutely disgusting, and that's why it, it it is definitely in my top five favorite decks. Um, cause it's just that evil. Um. Now, people always say, oh, Seismitoad is the most evil deck. It used Hypnotuck the Glazer, and it used the Burbank, and you can't use items, and then you use Garbador, and no more abilities, oh no. Okay. Uh, well, imagine having all of those disruptive cards at Seismitoad's disposal, but you wasted, like, over half of your deck, only to go up against this. And... You know, when you're when you're playing Seismitoad, you know, like, at least it's possible to have fun against Seismitoad. No matter how many people trash on it, it's possible to have fun against Seismitoad, because it makes you think differently. It makes you not have to rely on items, and while that is an inconvenience, yes, it, it, it kind of helps you grow as a player, you know? Um, helps you um, restyle your deck to adapt to the Seismitoad-ridden format. Um, and, but against Waylord, nobody prepared, first of all, and with Waylord, all the matches are the same. Draw, pass, draw, pass, draw, pass. It is impossible to have fun against this deck, because all it does is draw, pass, draw, pass. Oh, what was that? You've actually started to almost get close to knocking me out? AZ. What was that? You've almost gotten close to uh, knocking me out? Cassius. What was that? You've decided to start. You've decided to start using Grenade Hammer so that you could actually get closer. Well, guess what? I can use items now. Max Potion. Guess what? I can use items now. Enhanced Hammer. Guess what? I can use items now. Crushing Hammer. Guess what? I can use items now. Trick Shovel. Dowsing Machine. It Hard Charm. VS Seeker. It was terrible, because no matter what happened, you either weren't dealing enough damage to keep up with the healing, or you weren't item locking, and you were giving them more access to stuff. And with the Seismitoad uh, full format, it was evil. Now, this deck has not seen any play since. It kind of like popped up, people were like, oh my god, Waylord, and then it was gone. Never to be seen again. Um... And the, until now, honestly, until now, nobody has paid any attention to Willard. Um, but I feel like it, it got a lot of stuff. It has a lot of stuff, you know? Um, for example, it got Ace Rolla, which is just a Z, but a, a little different. You know, it has to have damage counters on it in order to scoop it up, right? Um, it got Green's Exploration, which I think is pretty cool. One thing that it, um, the, probably the main thing it got was a different Wailer to use, um, Wailer V, which just has an extra 30 HP, giving it more stall. Um, and it's getting Toughness Cape, uh, or Toughness Mantle, however you want to pronounce it, which gives it an extra 50 HP, making it a 330 HP wall that nothing can one-shot. Um, yeah, it got a lot of stuff. So here's the list, pretty straightforward, four Waylord, nothing else. Um, if your opponent mulligans a lot, um, you can just, that just adds to the, uh, the milling, you know? Four Flare Grunt for Disruption, four Cassius for Healing, four Acerola for Healing, four Greens Exploration, because this is, this deck is almost 100% trainers, um, almost, keep in mind. Um, four Fan Club to search out your other Waylords, um, four AZ to scoop up your Waylords, like Acerola. 
four N to um, disrupt your opponent. And, you know, you need some form of draw. Uh, two copies of Hue um, to make sure that your opponent doesn't build up a huge hand size to end it back in. You Hue, you discard their 20 card hand to a 5 card hand. So it means that they can't just pile up a huge hand and shuffle it back in with N, Wars, and such. Four copies of Crushing Hammer. Um, that's actually a new inclusion. Some of this is a new inclusion, obviously. Crushing Hammer was not in the, not in the original list. Um, but I think it, I, 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 I feel like it has a good place here. Four copies of VS Seeker to get back any of our 30 supporters, essentially giving us 34 supporters. Four copies of Max Potion to heal off Waylord. We play no energy, so its side effects doesn't really matter to us. Four copies of Toughness Cape to give us an extra 50 HP, um, just making us even harder to knock out than we already are. Three copies of Enhanced Hammer to get rid of all of the all of that pesky special energy. Um, two copies of Trick Shovel. Now the originalist did only play one. However, I play two because that's how I decided to build it. This is based off of the originalist, but this isn't the originalist. Um, one copy of Life Do because um, it makes it so your opponent has to go through four Whale Lords instead of three, and that's pretty evil, if I do say so myself. Um, and then four copies of Rough Seas. Rough Seas is to heal our Whale Lord even more in between turns. Uh, well, not in between turns, on our turn. Um, and that's the whole deck. Honestly, me telling you guys about how terrible this deck is took longer than the actual deck profile. At least I think. I'd have to go back in the recording to find out. But I I'm pretty sure that making that making you guys um, like feel how someone going against this deck would feel um, took longer than the deck. The deck is just that painfully simple. Disrupt, stall, MLG trick shovel. That's the whole deck. Um, <laughs> so, definitely leave a like if you're as terrible of a, of a person as me. Um, if you like Waylord EX as an archetype, um, definitely look up the originalist, because the originalist is also very, very nice. This is just my untested, um, improved Waylord stall list, um, and expanded, obviously, and of course. N, Hugh, Team Flareburn, Cassius, Acerola, um, Fan Club, and for, oh, um, Fan Club is about to rotate, um, AZ, VS Seeker, Max Potion, um, Enhanced Hammer, all that stuff is <laughs> rotated, almost this whole deck is rotated, um, so obviously that was expanded, um, so yeah, definitely leave a like if you're a several person as me, subscribe if you like the content, other than this, um, and definitely, um, and definitely, uh, see you later, because, um, can't have, can't think of anything else to say, definitely, uh, bye everybody. This is River from the Portland City Gym, signing out.